I never left, strategically moving, got me really watching my steps I've been going through a whole lot of, gotta make a whole lot of Top dollar, try to flip it off so I have no problems <clears throat> Alright, what's going on, it's Mike, I'm back here with another video And today, we're gonna be reacting to Mistakes in Disney movies that no one noticed There's a lot of stuff we don't notice In a lot of movies, shows Especially, you know Considering now I'm older, I'm seeing a lot of stuff now that I didn't see when I was younger. <laughs> like, and it's like it, it's mind blowing. So we're gonna we're gonna check this video out. Before we do, you know what to do. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. If you have any, click the bell. You know the you know the you know the you know the lingo. And let's get to the video. Okay. Outside white, but the inside cream. Berry. <laughs> Money grow more like grain. Harry. <laughs> I'm making oh rain on Harriet. <laughs> so disrespectful, like don't put Harriet in this. Oh, what did Harriet have to do with Amy? Yeah, at all. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, now I gotta think about that. Let's get to the video. <laughs> let's get let go. Hello everyone. What does it take to make a movie? Well, basically some actors and a film set. Of course, it's not that simple, but in theory, that would be enough to create a short film without any special effects or complex scenery. But what does it take to create an animated movie? That's a completely different story. It will take forever to list the stages of creating an animated movie, but it basically goes like this. First, a drawn script is approved. It's known as a storyboard. Then, the emotions and facial expressions of each character are drawn on the model sheets. Then a simple animated model is created. And only after that, the creation of 3D images begin. It is seen that the process is so thorough. Like the process of making even a cartoon, but any movie is like, to see the behind the scenes of how to like make that stuff is like, there's a lot that goes into that crap. That's, and these guys get paid top dollar just to do this. Like, I don't know, I might, I might. Put YouTube and get to this. You know, I can't draw. It's you might work, but like it's patience. Yeah, like I mean, y'all get some stick figures, but it's as bad as I can do. Mistakes should be made. Unfortunately, this is just not the case. And today's video is all about that. Let's get it on. Oh snap! That was kind of cool. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what they do. Need, unfortunately, y'all see, y'all see this. Just not the case. And today's video is that's all about cool. that. Let's get it on. I did not know they do all that. Frozen. Have you ever played guitar? If not, here's a small explanation for you. Fun fact, I did used to have a guitar way back in the day when I was when I was younger. Um it didn't end well. I'm gonna just say it like that. And um, rest in peace to my guitar. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> didn't end well. It's things on the head of the neck, I know, as tuning pegs. Turning them in different directions tightens or loosens the strings. This is how a guitar is tuned. So we can say with confidence that the number of tuning pegs corresponds to the number of strings. There are six strings on a classical guitar and four strings on a ukulele. Right. We don't know what kind of instrument the creators of Frozen imagine when drawing this scene, but they clearly mixed everything up. Apparently, they wanted to put a lute in Kristoff's hands, but this isn't a lute at all. This instrument should have a string attached to each peg but there are three pegs and four strings in addition it sounds like a guitar which probably was later recorded at a studio for this scene wow. here's another mistake made by the creators of frozen and one of the I most popular it. disney movies of recent years here anna miraculously changes clothes in the blink of an eye maybe it's her sister messing with her here look the princess is sliding down a snow slide and there's no hat on her head <laughs> But a few moments later, Anna is on her feet with a perfect. Wow, image. and you know how many times I've seen this movie? And we probably never, never even know, like, 
Wow. That's crazy. I never noticed that. Oh, my Even assuming that this exists. And where'd you get the hat from? from <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, to like, come back, find it, and put it on. Here we have another vanishing trick from Frozen. Hello. I'll come back when she's done being on the phone. Right, now that that's over, you know, if you guys hear noises and stuff in the background, my girl's trying to make dinner, so you know, just you know, bear with me. But let's get back to the video, okay? First, we see Kristoff pulling a tightrope around Anna's waist to bring her down from a high rock. Of course, everything goes wrong, and now the ice giant summoned by Elsa is messing with the couple. So, Anna takes a pocket knife from somewhere, cuts the rope, and falls into a from snow drift at the foot of the cliff. And guess what? What do we see? You're right. When the princess gets up after falling, there is no rope around the them. Yo, the fact mistake. that I never noticed this crap. Like, that's what bothers me. Cliff, and guess what? What do we see? You're right. When the princess gets up after uh, falling, there is no So what, the rope disappear in snow or something? Another like... mistake. And once again, it's frozen. It's not so easy to notice, but it's still quite serious. Remember how close to the end of the movie Elsa escaped from prison and ventured into the blizzard? There she meets the insidious Hans, who convinces the princess of her sister's death and the futility of trying to escape from justice. Mm. While Elsa sobs and cries, the deceitful prince takes out a huge sword and holds it above the girl's head. Wait a minute, where did the prince get the sword from? The weapon is quite massive and it sounded like it was taken out of a sheath. But Hans doesn't carry anything and there's no place for it. <laughs> wow. He does not even, wow. Just wow. Just wow. Wonderland. The works of the English writer Lewis Carroll on movie. the adventures of Alice in Wonderland feature colorful characters and exciting stories. We believe that it would be a crime if there weren't Such a movie throwback. adaptation. The first animated movie based on these books was made by Disney in 1951, when all the animation was still drawn by hand. So, remember when the main character meets the eccentric hippie hookah-smoking caterpillar? Watch carefully. For a couple of seconds, the sections on his body change colors. You'd think that he just moved. But no, the character remained in the same position, but the animators mistakenly painted the wrong zone a darker shade. In addition, this fact... I didn't... Like, why have I not noticed that? Like, that's... Wow. Because that's, like, as clear as day. Look at that. change colors. Really? You think that he just moved, but no. The character remained Look. in the same position, but the animators mistakenly painted the wrong zone. A How did I not notice that? Addition, this fact isn't used later. Is your mind being blown like mine is? Like, so this is crazy. Some sort of magic caterpillar power either. Ratatouille. Love this movie too. 13 years have passed since the premiere of Ratatouille. And I'm kind of curious, and I, I know I keep pausing it, but I'm kind of curious on what they find in this because I saw this movie bunch of times and I'm be very upset if I see something that I did not see before and I probably will but I'm, to be I'm be very upset and, adults, and so there are many reasons for that everything in this film is great it features cool characters tasty food and the unique atmosphere of Paris right If you don't remember, the plot goes like this. The poor rat Remy loves cooking shows and dreams of working as a chef. Sadly, he loses his family and friends in the drain. When he gets out to the surface, he realizes that he's in close proximity to the restaurants of his idol and decides to take a quick look inside. Then something amazing happens. The rat notices a soup ruined by the janitor Linguini and decides to secretly help him. Now take a look. When Remy runs past the pot with something weird inside, 
inside, we see dirt piled up on its edges, either because the soup is boiling or because the soppy work of the kitchen stuff. But when the character is adding the delicious ingredients to the soup, the pot has magically been cleaned. Wow. Let's go back to the very beginning of the story of the genius rat chef. He acquired his exceptional cooking skills by watching a TV program. First of all, that's how y'all get down in Paris? Y'all ain't cleaning y'all pots and stuff? Y'all see this? Like, this is what y'all do? Like, if that's the case, I ain't come to Paris. Right. Piled up on its edges. Hey, look at that. That's nasty, bro. <laughs> and you know what? I'm convinced. This is how coronavirus started. This is how it started. This is how it started. This is crazy. Look at that. Wow. It's boiling all because Paris it's started the coronavirus. Stuff, but <laughs> I figured it out. Is adding the delicious ingredients to the soup, the pot has magically been cleaned. But let's go back to the very beginning of the story of the genius rat chef. He acquired his exceptional cooking skills by watching a TV program hosted by the owner of the restaurant, Chef Gusto. He watched the show in different houses, and later in the film, this will cost him his family. But in one house, we see an ordinary black and white TV. The only problem is that the the set has small legs that keep vanishing. It's like magic. Another interesting mistake that was noticed only by the most attentive spectators of Ratatouille. Do you remember how Linguini's love interest, the audacious Colette, leaves the restaurant heartbroken? She has her reasons. How could she forgive such a blatant lie from a person who supposedly loves her? She's so overwhelmed and thinking about what just happened that she almost gets into an accident, but she stops the bike at the traffic in time. At this point, we clearly see that she's squeezed between two rows of cars. Here, Colette notices Gusto's cookbook in the store window, starts thinking again, and misses the traffic light signal. The drivers make a noise behind her, and we have a view of the road from above. The girl's bike suddenly appears in the middle lane, which simply didn't exist before. There wasn't even enough space for it. Again, it's like magic. Wow. At the end of Tangled, an animated film from 2010, Rapunzel faces a choice. She can use her magical powers to save her beloved Eugene from a fatal injury caused by Mother Gothel, but she has to willingly go with her. She's ready to sacrifice everything, but suddenly, the wounded prince gathers his last strength and cuts off Rapunzel's hair in one stroke, the only way to defeat the insidious stepmother. But now take a closer look. Do you see the shackles on Eugene's right hand? After a couple of moments, he touches just Rapunzel's hair with his hand and the shackles are all gone. Wow. And now he takes his knife to rid Rapunzel of her magical power just and the hands wow. are back in place. Like where the hands Zootopia. are like... Where does that come like from? in the making of this movie, they got some help from Hermione Granger and her time turn. Otherwise, how do you explain the way that time works in this movie? Take a look. The main character, Judy, calls her rabbit family. On the phone, you can see that it's 8.39. Here, they say goodbye to each other, and only a minute has passed on the clock at the top of the screen. But when Judy locks the phone and puts it back on the table, we see that it's already 9.44. <laughs> Yo, you know what that was? That wasn't a mess up. You ever try to get out the phone with your parents and they just and they keep don't know when they talking and they don't know when to hang up? You're like, okay, Yo. all right. Like, all right, all right, all right. It's so much time has passed by. That wasn't a mess up. That was actually purpose. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. <laughs> make a mistake, right? But there's more. Next to the table, there is a clock, which shows the time close up. Again, it's 8.40. By the way, that very same morning, the clock stood on the windowsill. Only the creators know how it got from the table to the window while Judy was at work. Judy's stuff actually has the strange habit of mysteriously moving all over her house. First, she puts her green notebook on the table. A couple of seconds later, the rabbit begins to switch stations on her radio clock, and the notebook is no longer on the table. A few seconds pass, Judy sits down to have dinner, and the notebook is there again. One where, of the main no, like actions where, like in Tokyo where? Tokyo takes place in Little Redentia Town. Compared to the local buildings in their residence, Judy and the outlaw Duke 
are the giants. So in the middle of the chase, a huge fake donut comes off a building, rolling along the streets and almost taking the life of Fru-Fru the Shrew. When the dessert first bounces off the asphalt, a bunch of crumbs fall off it. Miraculously, Judy manages to grab the donuts in the air. But in the next scene, we're looking at Fru-Fru from above, and there aren't any crumbs. Of course, we have heard that rodents are able to eat tons of sweets in a matter of seconds, but are they really that quick? <laughs> the Princess and the Frog. Oh, wow. And here's a funny scene featuring Tiana's disappearing earrings in The Princess and the Frog. At the beginning of the film, at the ball in the castle of Charlotte, the best friend of the protagonist, a prince named Naveen, arrives. Of course, all eyes are drawn to this sweet couple, but you can't fool us. We immediately notice that the gold jewelry in Tiana's ears vanished and then reappeared. <laughs> Aladdin. Wow. All time. Not man. Aladdin. Not Aladdin. My all time. Right. Like one of my favorite Disney movies. Mind you. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very upset if I see something. That was literally right there. Jasmine from Atlanta. I'm gonna be, be kind of upset. I want to see. She doesn't want to marry a prince and right. rejects all the candidates proposed by her father and her Except little for Aladdin. mighty tiger Rajar supports her with all of his heart. You know she was playing hard to example right. in this scene, Jasmine's pet tears off a piece of fabric from the pants of another suitor. The princess sees his pink underwear with red hearts and the candidate runs away from the castle in disgrace. A little later when the sultan catches up with Jasmine and Rajar, the tiger is holding in his mouth a piece of the underwear instead of a piece of the pants. And another mistake from Aladdin. In the final battle with the insidious Jafar, we see that Jasmine's bracelet travels from her left forearm to her right forearm and back. Of course, no one would notice such details in the middle of a fight, but still. Wow. The Little Mermaid. The classic animated movie, The Little Mermaid, is on list. There are a few mistakes in it, but we'll focus on just one of them. Remember how Ariel gets into Prince Eric's castle, where she first meets the human world? So in this part of the movie, there's a scene where the princess lies in a bed and falls asleep right in the middle of a passionate speech by her friend, Sebastian. The funny thing is that at first, she doesn't have a blanket, but in the next moment, she's already covered up to her chin. It certainly wasn't the crab that helped her. Why? It was too busy with this monologue. It's magic. What the heck? Was I taking drugs <laughs> watching these movies? Like, now I feel like I need to go back and watch all these. Yeah, <laughs> like, I feel like I gotta go watch all these Disney movies all over again. This is crazy. A whole cover. She doesn't have a blanket, but in the next moment, she's already covered up to her chin. It certainly wasn't the crab that helped her. It was wow. too busy with this monologue. It's magic outside of Hogwarts again. Hold on a second. Do you want to see some crazy stories from real life? Nothing dull, only action, only adventures, chases, fights, love confessions, and sudden betrayals. Don't believe us? Well, follow the link and see for yourselves. Our animation channel, Private Dot. How about now? But, yeah, I. Honestly, I literally just want to have like a day where I don't work or do anything and just binge a whole bunch of Disney movies. <laughs> And see if I see any more mistakes like this, cause like right. I feel like I feel like I'm lost. <laughs> I like I feel like my whole life is a lie. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I feel like my whole life is a lie. So yep. So that's gonna end this video, and you know if you're new, go ahead and subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Whoa, grind until I get a meal. All I want is dollar bills Second higher than some hills Messing with my cake, probably get you killed